Welcome back. We're talking about the Caribbean Canada Emerging Leaders Dialogue, an important forum where persons from the Caribbean and Canada come together to discuss critical issues this year. The issue of innovation and transformation is what the theme is about. And we have uh, two persons who have been intimately associated with this um, dialogue on the program, uh, Sandra Glasgow and Omar Sweeney. Uh, Sandra, the Princess Royal is intimately involved in this program and in fact will be visiting uh, yes. Jamaica. So up to 2011, it was the Duke of Edinburgh who was, um, who acted as patron, but of course he's, uh, you know, advancing in age, mm -hmm. so he has passed over the presidency of the organization to Her Royal Highness, mm -hmm. um, the Princess Royal, mm -hmm. Princess Anne. Mm -hmm. uh, she came to Jamaica in 2011 and we had uh, wonderful interactions with her. And she's coming back this year to close the dialogue. Mm -hmm. And the closing ceremony is taking place in Jamaica this year. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the importance of this uh, dialogue, especially between a uh, first world country like um, Canada and third world countries like um, us in the, in, in the Caribbean. But set that in context for us, um, uh, Sandra. Why is that uh, so critical for this dialogue to take place? between the North and the South? Yes. Well, I think the, the, the Caribbean and Canada have had a particularly long, long and, partnership. and engaging yeah. partnership. Mm -hmm. And I think the organizers felt that this was a natural fit between two regions that have cooperated and collaborated on many aspects of our economic and political and social life. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, I think it's really, a, a, a you know, very important for us to understand our own contexts. Mm -hmm. uh, I found last time that there were several people who had never been to Canada, mm -hmm. and of course mm -hmm. Canadians who had never been to the Caribbean. And if we are going to cement those ties at all levels, I think first getting to know each other, mm -hmm. to understand the context in which we live, is a really critical thing and I think that's what the dialogue seeks to do. So not only does it help to develop the leadership competences of the participants, but it exposes them to the nuances of the particular areas as Omar mm -hmm. uh, said, um, you know, they visited tribal communities yes. in Canada yes. and, and also in the Caribbean we uh, have tribal communities. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think that both the Caribbean people who, and some of whom have never been to some of the Caribbean islands as well, deepen their relationships with each other and in the process are learning um, critical skills about how to become better leaders. Mm -hmm. So the Jamaican um, leg, which would last about four days, yes. would consist of what? The, the groups coming together now to swap notes, to exchange ideas about you know, what they have gleaned from yeah, previous because, days? Yeah, because um, you, you would be in Canada for the opening ceremony mm -hmm. where you'd be as a group. Uh, you would go through some sessions, um, storming, norming type mm -hmm. sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, once you break away and you go to the different, different parts areas. of Canada and the yeah. Caribbean, you would want to come back to Jamaica here now yes. and really sit share down and share collectively. Mm -hmm. Remember now that what will happen if you have four people from, or nine people are going from Jamaica, they're going to be split amongst the nine groups, yes. right? And so even that is a, is a wealth of information of that when they come back together uh -huh. uh, and, and you share that for the two days and then you also start preparing your own group report um, to say what your perspective is. And, and each person is given, uh, like each group is given like a, th like a sub theme mm -hmm. for what their, what their group would be. And so this is where the Princess Royal would engage the groups also um, because she does share uh, a genuine interest in learning really? what the experiences are, and so she spends so she time. She would go to the session. Would have goes to the interaction yes. and have yes. interaction with, with the groups and ask Absolutely. tough questions oh. too. You so know? she doesn't just give an address. Um, yeah, because oh, no, no, no. She in, she's there. She's she interacts. very integrally involved right. in oh. the discussions, yeah. Oh. Yeah. and she's and an exposed person. So yes. she 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 knows the issues, and yes. so she asks really point questions, oh. and and so even as leaders to, to, to interact and, and be able to respond mm -hmm. um, at that level is something that um, is, 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 is really worthwhile for the groups. Mm -hmm. And so uh, there will be a few marquee speakers that come in, um, Jamaican leaders of industry that would come in and, and, and also speak to the group. 
address the group. And, and so uh, that is really what the culmination is mm -hmm. um, of the conference. And then, of course, uh, what goes on forever is, is a sustainable, um, lifelong network that you have. That's what I was about to ask. Know. What yes. happens after the dialogue? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Former coach here. Y yes. <laughs> well, I mean, it's... Does the network... Yeah, Absolutely. And, and I have participated... I didn't participate in this, um, in the CCLD, but I am an Eisenhower fellow, and I can mm -hmm. tell you, once you have been through these kinds yes. of programs, you develop lifelong um, relationships. Mm -hmm. Not only that, by virtue of the fact that you have been a part of the program, whether or not you had a chance to be in somebody's group or not, mm -hmm. or whether you, you know, traveled with them or not, just the mere fact that you are part of this community right. mm -hmm. um, allows you access to sure. those people. Mm -hmm. And um, indeed, not just the CCLD, but the Commonwealth Leadership Conferences in total, mm -hmm. you know, so it's a real, um, I think it's, it's a real benefit to anybody who participates because they are going to have the opportunity to develop their leadership skills and broaden their um, exposure mm -hmm. to leadership mm -hmm. in many different ways. Yes. And this year the emphasis is on innovation and transformation? Yes. Yes, that's, that's really the emphasis this year. And you can see from the selection, um, especially the Jamaican contingent, I'm telling you, is quite impressive mm -hmm. um, that we have sent uh, the mm -hmm. person. And it was quite competitive. Yes. Um, you'd be surprised. Um, persons so really have to apply? Yes. yes. Oh, they apply. We apply. They to have to apply. Yeah. And then the selection committee sifts through the applications, mm -hmm. decides who will be invited for an interview. And they go through quite a rigorous interview process. Yes. And um, after that, a selection is made. So we have actually selected nine Correct. people from Jamaica, mm. six women and three men. Oh, uh, we have a good mix. <laughs> 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 we have five from the government sector, um, three from the private sector, and there's one labor leader, the, the president of the Jamaica Civil Service Association, Association. the secretary. The secretary. Uh, of the president. Jamaica the Civil president Service is an alumni. Association. Mm -hmm. right. The current president is yes. an alumni. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yes, it's, it's, you have to go through a, quite a competitive process mm -hmm. in order to, yeah. to be part of the program. But it is, it is all worth it. Yes, I, I certainly think so. Because the yes. experiences gained are, are invaluable. Right. Yes. I, d I just wanted to say in closing um, that we have to thank our sponsors. Mm -hmm. Scotia Bank has come on board again, and Flo and the Exim Bank has been very pivotal. And our co-chair this year is Mrs. Lisa Bell, the uh, managing director of the Exim Bank, and she's Ooh. done a fantastic job along with her. Also an alumna. Yes. yes. Also All right. An alumna. <laughs> <laughs> so let the dialogue uh, continue, the Car Caribbean-Canada Emerging Dialogue. Leaders um, uh, Dialogue, um, the final session will be held here in Jamaica. Stay tuned to us on Issues and Answers. You'll get the information that is really crucial. Until next week, Ian Boyne wishing you a pleasant day. <laughs>